Hey, what's up guys? My name's Jack. Today, I'm gonna show you how to edit videos in HitFilm Express totally for free. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel, or if this is your first ever video on my channel, welcome. I'm Jack, I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting. Now, on screen is HitFilm Express, but let me actually get up a more specific folder which is gonna have some example clips for you, okay? So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be creating. I'm gonna walk you through creating a basic sequence today in this video. Now, what I'm gonna do right here is just quickly play the sequence so you can actually see it. And this is actually going to be the sequence in particular. We're actually gonna take a few clips of me flying my drone on a field um, and then with a final drone clip like that as well. And uh, we're gonna basically recreate this sequence. Now, um, I've actually done a video like this in DaVinci Resolve before. So we're gonna be using the same clips that I use for my DaVinci video and uh, you know, just replicating this kind of cool sequence, which is a seamless sequence with the light leaks in between as transitions. So if you guys wanna go to the description and follow through, you can actually download the clips and light leaks and basically follow through the whole tutorial. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, if you guys don't have HitFilm or if you're having a, a problem installing it, um, click this video. Uh, you won't be able to click it. I'm sure I'll put the thumbnail on so you can see it. Um, but that video will be linked down below. That's how to install HitFilm properly. There's a, you know, there's a little bit of a technicality when installing that could uh, prevent some of you from getting it. But Let's actually import all our clips. Now we can either uh, highlight them in our you know, folder and just hold them, drag them over, and just drag them here, or we can actually you know, just simply go to import and then actually locate them. For me, it's in my YouTube uh, videos and we're actually gonna j just gonna import uh, these ones and then obviously the drone clip. Press open and that's gonna import it right here to our kind of media pool, our kind of media area, okay? Cool. And we're gonna basically just start loading them up and uh, you know, adding in and out points first off. So what I wanna do is actually double click the first clip, which is gonna be this one, and uh, actually just load it into our preview window here. Okay, so this is our preview window. All we wanna do is press play, and you see this, we'll start moving across, and we wanna find a bit of movement where we wanna start it. And I actually wanna press I, which will say, which will put in. And uh, what I does is add an in point, which means the video will actually only start where we press I. So let's actually find where the movement kind of starts um, and press I, and you see that kind of jumps over here so that it actually just starts with this movement where it's going around me, and that's all I want. I wanna just isolate that. And um, you know, basically it's gonna start from there. So now if we were to drag it over from here, it will uh, actually only start from the point where we've put in, um, but if we drag it from here, it's gonna bring both audio and video. Now this is a slow motion clip. The audio doesn't matter at all. So what we can do is hover over and click use video only, and then we can only drag a video layer into down here. Um, and essentially, you know, we can start playing that and that's only gonna play from where we actually end it. Um, and then we can actually go over here to maybe the two second mark um, and actually press control and the sidebar to go frame by frame or control and left arrow or right arrow to go literally frame by frame. And then let's actually just simply go here and what we can actually do is add a cut. So what we can do is press C, which will get our uh, kind of cutter tool, um, our splicer. Um, as you can see over here, this is all our, all our tools. So this one here is just the all selection. And that one right there is the slice tool, which obviously if we hover over it, it actually has C in a kind of abbreviation. So we can know that that's the, the shortcut. I'm just gonna cut it right there. Um, then I'm just gonna press V, which is the shortcut to get back to the all selection tool. So look at these right here, watch them change. Ready, C, V, C, V. So V is all selection, which is, you know, doing whatever. C is cut. Those are the two very important uh, shortcuts. But I'm going to just go ahead and delete that by pressing the delete button. Very obvious button to delete stuff, guys. Uh, next up, I'm going to actually move on to the next clip. So I'm going to open this one. Now I want it obviously to start from the, uh, you know, the right hand side. This clip here was the left hand side. And let's just again press uh, enter and start waiting for that movement. So right there, it reveals the lens flare right around me. So I can go to about there and press I, and you see it's gonna again jump our thing over, and we can have that play, and then we can again just hover over, use video, drag solely the video in, go to here, give it a play, and actually just wait until we're um, you know, at, at the four second mark, and we can see up here, we've actually paused it perfectly right there. Um, again, we can do the C, tap that right there, press V to jump back, and delete that with the delete key, and uh, you know, we're obviously starting to form a sequence. Just had to have a sip of my tea. It's about 11 in the morning. Have to drink that tea. You know, the post-coffee tea is a very important tea. Anyways, crack it on with the edit. Now I'm actually gonna go to the, uh, you know, the next clip and actually go ahead and, uh, oh no, actually double click that over here. So I'm gonna wait. And this one's a little bit different. 
So what I want is that, this isn't slow motion, so again, um, I'm just gonna wait until the movement is, is kind of full. You see how the movement kind of goes up? And again, I can hold shift, so if I'm over here, right, hold shift and press I, and it'll just skip me to my end point. Um, so I can again use the video, and that's gonna be even more useful, because that actually adds sound attached to it, because it's not a slow-mo clip. Um, and again, just play it until it's at about the six second mark, which we've paused perfectly on there again, press C. Again, it's gonna jump to our slice tool, cut it, press V to jump back to our all selection and delete it. And uh, then we can actually open up our last clip, press play again. And we just wanna kind of look for, again, a complete movement. That's what I'm looking for, is a movement that kind of just looks complete. So again, we look through, the lens flare is coming up. That's definitely looking like a pretty complete movement. So what we can do is we can actually bring that over before the lens flare goes kind of behind. Actually press our eye so the eye goes in. And uh, again, just start to play that so we can see the movement kind of transpire. And um, you know, I'm looking up, kind of looking at the drone most likely. Again, we can hover over, go use video, bring that along. And uh, you know, just actually press play again and let that go to eight seconds, um, which actually we've gone a little bit past it. So we can hold control and left on the, um, arrow keys, go to eight seconds, click it, press C, do a slice, uh, back V to jump back to the all selection, delete that right there, and then we can actually be in a position to import our, or actually don't even import that yet, this is our drone clip. Again, we wanna open that up in the, uh, the trimmer, as they call it, and again, give it a play. This is my friend Noah running down a dirt road, and uh, basically what I'm gonna do is, uh, is start it right there. You see how there's a natural lens flare, which when we add the light leak, that's gonna kind of play onto that pretty nicely. So I'm actually gonna press I and start it from right there. And the fact that there's a natural light leak there makes our job even, even kind of more effective when we get to it, okay? So now that we've actually got this, we can click here, drag it over. Again, give it a play. Um, and actually, for some reason, that has um, not started from the, eye, from the end point for some weird reason, interesting. Um, we can actually drag that in again, and um, interesting. So for some reason, it's not uh, loading from that point. Very weird, very, very, very weird indeed. I'm trying to th see why that would be. Um, interesting, so things will go wrong. This is editing, guys, at the end of the day. This is, uh, you know, um, it's, it's technical stuff. Whenever you're doing technical stuff, something's gonna go wrong. So for this one, we're just gonna manually do it. Again, C, chop that there, back to V, delete the, the left-hand clip in this case bring it over um, and give it a play. Um, and this one I'm actually gonna leave for double, so I'm gonna leave it for four seconds, okay? So to, to 12, from eight to 12, just right there again, C, hit it, V, back, and, uh, and delete it. And um, then we've actually chopped out a sequence. Now my bad, I pressed uh, save there real quick. Um, actually, it is a good habit to save the sequence. So let's actually save it as, um, as a drone, drone example sequence, drone example sequence, um, you know, it's just, Good to get in the habit. When I'm editing a big project, I'm you know pressing Control S or Command S if you're on Mac, pretty much constantly, just to save it. And let's give it a play. So we actually isolated a cool selection. Um, I'm loving it. This one right here. This one right here. I, I feel as though I want to just bring it over a little bit. Okay. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, you know, wanting it to be kind of nice. Want, want it to be looking nice. Um, and just like that, we've actually selected it. So let's actually go over here and import some stuff, import our light leaks. Let's import light leak eight, light leak 18, light leak one and light leak three. Drag them, bring them over to hit film, actually drag them here again. And it's just gonna play them just like that. Now, what we wanna do is double click. Um, it's obviously gonna load up here. We can play that. So that's looking pretty cool. Um, looking at the next one, nice. Actually, just looking at them all. I'm gonna bring that one over in first. And I'm actually gonna, just gonna kind of put it right there in the middle. Um, now the thing about this is that these clips are 4K, the light leaks are only 1080p, so we're actually gonna have to go over to the sides and actually press control, uh, press shift and drag and just scale it all the way up. And just like that, we are actually gonna scale them all the way up. Now we should be able to just right click them and uh, find a blending mode, which at the top it says blend, and we actually go down to screen in this case, which is gonna make them somewhat transparent. Now if we give this a play, Everything should look pretty cool right now, but what we wanna actually do is go to the most um, lit up point, okay? So we're gonna again press control and use the arrows to find the bit where the light is most on the screen, right there. Press C, make a cut, and actually drag this over to align it so that when the light is most on the screen, 
this will, uh, you know, obviously kind of take place so that obviously, you know, the transition effect kind of happens pretty smoothly. Um, now, again, want to just keep opening up the next ones. That's looking cool. Um, I'm actually just going to want to kind of keep going through them. And again, just dragging them in, going here, um, dragging it over to where it's most on screen, right there. Again, it doesn't matter that it's not full. Um, pressing the cut, bringing them over, lining them up, um, and then obviously deleting that side, dragging it over. Um, and oh, <laughs> if you want to undo, press Control Z, um, and then drag that back out again. Boom! Right click it, go up here to Blend, which is blending mode, and go to Screen down here again. And again, we've just added the next one, and that's looking very cool. We can actually go ahead and add uh, that one will probably work out on that one so I'm actually gonna go ahead and get these and I'm actually kind of just setting them up to see which one kind of work best with which particular clip um, and again we can actually oh click the side of this press control and drag it out so it drags it evenly and just go kind of bit by bit and that looks like the most lit up part so we can again press C bring it over line it up um, now we've actually gone to the layer above accidentally, my bad. Um, and let's drag that over. Interesting. Um, so we can actually go down here and kind of zoom in a little bit more to be more accurate. Um, and again, I don't think I added the blending mode. So I can pull that out, go up here to blend, go down to screen, and then we've added another one. Awesome. So just like that, um, we have added another one. Um, and that one's looking pretty cool. Um, and then the final one, which is this one, again, just drag it over, click, drag out, boom, drag it down. That is looking like it's the most lit up point. So we, again, add a cut right there and zoom down over here so we can actually, you know, be lining it up correctly. Pull it over one. Again, it's, it's freaking out and going to the wrong, the wrong layer. Um, so what we can do is actually go up here and just drag this up a bit so we can have a little bit more room to work with, I think. Um, and then delete it, drag it over, right click it, go up here to blend, go to screen. And now if I actually play this from the beginning, let's press control S just to save again. We should have a pretty cool sequence that's been built. And just like that, we have a sequence which has a whole bunch of transitions in between. And, uh, you know, it's looking pretty nice if I do say so myself. So that right there is a quick quick sequence indeed, a quick kind of like, a, you know, seamless, I guess you could say. Um, it is kind of a seamless sequence. Basically, you know, we, we want to use these uh, these kind of um, uh, lightly transitions just to kind of blend everything together, um, just to make it a little bit more kind of seamless. But that right there is it. Now, in conclusion, all we want to do is go over here to the end, press O. So obviously that seals it off. Look, if I press O here, that's going to be the, the extent of how long it goes for. If I press O here, watch this blue jump, which means that seals it. So that's that's it right there. And we could simply go up here to view, export, and then we're actually going to be right here in the, uh, in the export window. Now, what do I want to use to export? Um, pretty simple. Obviously, what you can do here is search preset. Now what we can do is a H.264 and see if we've got a H.264 preset. Um, it, it might be named as something different, but it's a it's named MP4 um, built-in presets. Is that it? Or we could actually go for a uh, you know a YouTube uh, what's that a YouTube 1080 or a YouTube 4K. Now this is particularly 4K, so I'm actually going to click that one right there, and uh, that will have actually selected that it is 4K. Um, and they have a YouTube uh, 2160P. Um, kind of export rate. If you guys have followed through, use the uh, use the 4K. I guess we could reduce it to 1080p, which would be pretty nice. Probably be a quicker render. But for the for the sake of it, we may as well go here. Screw it. And um, if everything looks good over here, in out, phenomenal. Everything is looking good. Um, the actual destination, the destination. So these ones are finished right here. Cool. Whatever. Uh, start exporting. <clears throat> um, how do we set the destination? I forget. Um, export in out cool. That's actually set right there. Um, I forget how we actually set the um, the place, but if I press start exporting, if I select this and press start exporting, um, it should start exporting. Of course, that's jokes. So all I did right there was actually go to the export tab. But my bad, guys. I totally forgot one specific part, which is actually gonna 
tell the program that you want to export this particular um, folder. That's funny. I haven't done a tutorial on HipFilm in a minute. Go here to export. Pretty obvious button. Boom. Um, export in and out areas. Remember my choice. Go to export. Boom. And that's going to put it down here, which was the specific thing which I completely forgot. My bad, guys. That kind of showed me up a little bit. Oh, well. Not trying to prove anything to anybody. So right here is 2160. Again, the same the same preset that I told you about a second ago. Um, use it. Again, if you want a quicker render, format down to 1080p, but it is 4K. So we're just going to actually press export and it's going to start exporting. Now, how long will it take? By the looks of it, not very long at all. So let's just wait it out for a split second and uh, actually wait till it's done in supposedly 40 seconds. We'll watch it together and conclude. And um, honestly, guys, great video so far. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hopefully, hope you guys have learned a thing or two. At the very least, you've gotten some light leak transitions for free um, and, you know, a tutorial on how to use them. But, you know, I don't really like to go too crazy with the effects nothing too too crazy I just like to kind of complement my project with a uh, either some sort of speed ramps or something like that in this case uh, you know the light leaks act is a nice kind of you know um, in between between two sh two shots but not necessarily a super edited kind of transition but boom it's exported to our um, home our desktop so let's actually give it a play and just like that we have created a sequence totally for free in hit film Express 2019 and uh, you know it's looking pretty decent to uh to say the least now thank you guys for watching the video i've been jack chris jack cole if you enjoyed so smash a like on the video if you did not enjoy tell me why i'm you know genuinely interested to hear why especially if you made it to the end of the video you didn't enjoy very very interesting indeed um i have videos teaching you how to install hit film express if uh somehow you uh don't actually know how to do it. Also, got plenty other videos based around video production, whether it be video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and take it easy.